Hey everyone, welcome back to the Asylum, it's Bonnie and today we are going to do a fusion bead review. Okay, so I was having a look around online, um, specifically I was on Pinterest at the time and I was looking at some Perla bead patterns um, for jewelry that I really wanted to make but I was looking at them thinking how have they used so many beads and the finished product is so small turns out I didn't actually know that there was mini perla beads that was new to me um, good information though because I went online and had a look and was like oh my god I need to buy these so that I can make um, Perla bead jewelry for myself because it looks amazing. Um, turns out because I'm in Australia, uh, the the actual Perla brand mini beads are very hard to come by. Um, and when you are able to get them, they are quite expensive. And so I thought there has to be another option. Um, I did a lot of searching, looked through some subreddits. Um, some reviews online and everything but uh, I needed to find a brand that was easily accessible in Australia which is not an easy task I thought it would have been easier than this but it took a while um, so I finally came across a product called nano beads um, I'm not sure if they're officially partnered with um, Perla beads because they have um, Perla beads on their packet they have the actual Perla name on their packet saying that they're a mini version of those so maybe they're associated but they're from Japan so I'm not quite sure um, currently they have sets that are available they are more they are most popularly sold in sets so they give you the set they give you a little board and they give you um, a pattern to follow and they give you the specific beads that you need for that pattern. I needed to find a company that sold the colours as is and I found a place called Frontline Hobbies in Sydney. So naturally being my me, I ordered every colour that was available and some boards and I'm very excited to review them today. Um, I'm going to show you guys actually how big they are. Because, oh my god, I couldn't believe it when I got the box. How small they are compared to the normal Perla beads. Um, I haven't actually used them before. So when I make something with them today, you're going to get an honest reaction. Because I don't know how they melt. I don't know how good they are. So we will see together. But I'm very excited about this. So a standard perla bead board, I got these for my perla beads. This is a large board that connects together, obviously. You get two in a pack, blah, blah. This is for the standard perla beads. Now I ordered bead boards for the nano beads, obviously. And these are the nano bead boards. That just proves how small these beads are really are. I'm so excited to use them. So that's just a comparison. That's for the regular Perla beads and this is for the nano beads. So in terms of size, I put two of the white ones next to each other. The one on the left is a regular sized Perla bead and the one on the right is a nano bead. So that is just to put into perspective how small they truly are. Oh my gosh. Okay, so in terms of colours, these are all the colours that I have in my regular size Perla beads. Um, I definitely don't have all of them, there are heaps left. When it came to finding the mini Perla beads, I found that the actual legitimate brand Perla beads did not have as many colours in the smaller versions. So I also wanted to find a range of beads that had a large colour variety to choose from. So these are my legitimate large perla beads and these are my nano beads. So you can see that a lot of the colours 
are the same. They even have the same names. Um, so I'm guessing they have to be associated somehow. But you can just tell how small they are just by looking at them in my plastic containers. It's crazy. Um, I'm definitely happy with the amount of colours I got. I bought all one of every packet of every colour that was available in Australia at the time. I looked on the actual Nanobead website and it says that there are about six new colours um, that they have just made, but they haven't hit Australia yet, obviously. So hopefully they're going to come to the country soon and I can get those too. Okay, let's make something, guys. So just as a handy hint, um, these are legitimate Perla brand, but... Uh, Perla beads at the best of times are fiddly, let alone the nano beads. Oh my goodness. So I bought these tweezers. They are the skinniest nose tweezers and they are Perla brand and they are actually for the Perla mini beads, but I'm going to use them for the nano beads um, because I'm not game enough to try and make anything with my bare hands because I've got stubby little sausage fingers. <laughs> Okay, um, so I think the first thing I'm going to make is I'm going to try and make a pair of alien head earrings. And then if it turns out okay and I feel adventurous enough, I might make a bat skeleton necklace. So let's see how we go. Okay, so this is a finished one alien head. I'm looking at it now to try and decide if it's too big. I know that sounds silly because the beads are so small, but I was going to wear them as earrings and it's it's quite big. Um, I'll iron it anyway and if I want to, I'll turn it into a necklace instead. All right, let's iron. Okay, so because I've never used these before, I have my iron on a very, very low setting um, because I don't know how they're going to react. I'm, I'm assuming because they're a lot smaller than normal perla beads that they will fuse a lot faster. So here goes nothing. Bit higher, I think.
Okay, so that was utter chaos, um, and I just spent about five, ten minutes fixing it. So I've turned the iron up a lot, and I'm going to move it a lot less. Fingers crossed. And here's me worried about over melting them. They don't seem to be melting at all. All right, third time's the charm. I cranked the iron right up and I used just good old baking paper from Coles. I love it. Let's make another one and turn them into earrings. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the verdict is uh, the nano beads, they're awesome. Um, after I cranked the iron right up, they melted like that. Um, so, now I've learnt my lesson. I need to have the iron up a lot higher. Um, I love them. I'm going to make more stuff. That was insanely fiddly. So, I'm not going to make anything else for this video. But I might make some more pieces another day. These are the little finished product. Little alien earrings. Um, I've got stretched ears so everything goes on hoops. Uh, let's put them on. Oh my god, they're so cute. Ah, oh, they're so cute. I love them. Alright. That's my video for today. <laughs> um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep updated on all of our social media. And come back next Friday for another video. Bye.